So I'll press uh, line two. It goes down to there and then you just press feet here. And I'll put in uh, 22 feet is a, a length of bar that we're going to cut. And we go to inches, I'll put in 8 inches long. We'll unload it at 45 feet and we'll have it placed in bin 2. The quantity that we put in will be 642 MA pieces. Um, and then we press enter and it should accept it. Uh, you'll notice that the 22 foot stop comes up that corresponds with this. Okay. So when the he, 22 foot stop is up right now. Right. When he would go to cut, he would get the shear and the hold down to come down and hold the bar so that the bar doesn't flip all over the place. Okay. So all shear. It says shear right now on the screen. Okay. And you'll get those two lights that will come on on the tester. Okay. I let up on those and it changes to kick. Now it wants us to kick the bar off into the bin. I noticed the 45 is up. The 45 is the unload. But before we kick it, we would want to roll the bar down to that 45 foot unload. Okay. Then we would kick it off into the bin and you'll notice that you get all the kickers to come up on the way we have it set right now. So, now let up, it's ready to shear again. All you'd have to do is roll it into position. The 22 foot stop is up. If you would shear, then the 45 foot unload would come up, then you would roll it and kick it again. It's ready to kick. Right now I have it set to all kickers, so it kicks all of them. Okay, if you wanted to just kick certain sections, could you do that also? I can go into the software and change it so that it only kicks the necessary ones for 40 feet. We would probably just get these first four to light up. Okay. And on their shear line they would get the first four to kick. And then you have manual inches that move the inches back and forth. And if you look okay. over here, this is like simulating a, ta a table moving on your shear line. And if okay. you'll notice on our controller, it's in manual right now. And if I press auto here, the table moves to six inches or eight inches where it's supposed to. The display is out of a uh, bank teller machine. It's the same type that they use. It's very bright in the sun so that uh, people can see all of the characters really well and it holds up well in heat. The keypad is totally designed by us and uh, we have it manufactured with the keys that we need and it's very easy to change for the customer. If I open the controller you'll notice that it takes uh, eight screws and you just change that, unplug this, and you've changed your keypad. And they're not, not very expensive. We have the CPU board right here with the display in front of it. It has a plexiglass with two neoprene seals that keeps the water out, out, out of your controller. Very simple inside. Uh, these are all Allen Bradley switches for shearing, kicking, rolling. On a shear line controller, if I flip it around a little bit, the back has the six plugs that give you all your foot stops, shooting your bends and your kickers. The uh, encoder plug gets your encoder signal and that works with the inches. And then you have a high voltage plug that handles the load rollers, gauge rollers, inches, and the shear. The shearing. Uh, we have a plug board. That's where the plugs plug in and it's fused. And there's a fuse chart here. So it shows you which if your function has quit, like let's say you've lost a kicker or you lost a foot stop, you just replace the appropriate fuse in the controller. And also you have uh, MOSFETs here on the driver board that uh, drive all of your foot stops and bends and unloads. And they have fuses on the relays that run the, the, whole, the, the rollers, the gauge rollers, the, the load rollers and the inches and the shear function also. 
Anyway, that's the inside of the controller. Oh, and also on this model it has a heater that's a dehumidifier. It keeps the moisture out of here. That works particularly well in places like Canada. All that's, right. That's pretty much it. Great. Thank you very much for showing us the Shearline controller. No problem. All righty.